Hey, and welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about TI4 flight stands. I've seen some of them online that uh, sort of the glass or like plexiglass type that cover up the entire system, and I just really didn't like the design of it. It kind of covered up most of the board and it was hard to get underneath if you were trying to get to the planets and move things around. So I wanted something that was out around the outside of the system and sort of stood above the board and kind of seemed intimidating as if the flight the, the fleet was flying across space. So I made a little bit something different, uh, make, making it out of wood and hot glue and magnets. And so let's go to the table and take a look. And there you have it. The flight stand with all the ships on there. This way you have a giant fleet coming in across the sky but you also have full view of all the planets and anything else on there. And it's really easy just to come in, grab what you need, to take where you need it to go, and then continue on your way. Every time you need to move your flight stand, you just grab your flight stand, and it's gone. The flight stand was relatively easy to make. Um, it's just made of wood sticks, and you can sort of see the joints here of all the different types of hot glue that I put in there. Um, I just sort of globbed on there. I didn't really worry about the glue that much because I knew I was just going to paint it black and once it's on the table you really can't tell that much because you're looking at the ships. And then uh, to be able to attach all the ships I used magnets and I just kind of did the same thing that I did with the ships on the sticks and just did a little glob of hot glue and put the magnet on there and they seem to be holding pretty well. I also put magnets on the bottom following the same polarity um, so I can attach the sustain tokens on there so that you can see them on the flight stand which ones have been sustained and which one has not. The sticks I just used were kind of sticks that you find at a craft store. Um, this is the size that I actually used from Michael's or Joann's. It's just a small little post like stick. But you could even use these woodsies or anything else and just glob the hot glue on there. I took a tile and just made sure that it kind of lined up on the outside edge when I was gluing it together. And when I glue it, I put it on parchment paper and lay it up against the table so that it can lay flat. And the neat thing about parchment paper is when the hot glue dries, it peels right off of it. So you get that flat table uh, finish and then it comes off the parchment paper so that you can use it later. I made this back piece here because originally when I'd put the ships on here it'd start to lean and then if you just tapped it a little bit it'd fall over backwards so I had to add this little back piece so that whenever there was any pressure on here it would not fall over. Here's just a quick uh, video time lapse of me putting all the magnets on each ship. And I have the flight stand setting there so that I can have the magnets ready to be put on so I can keep the polarity straight so I don't get any of them flipped and then some of the ships won't want to stick to the flight stands. The hardest of all the ships was definitely the, the fighters. They were small and uh, it's just hard to hold on to it with my hands and be able to put a little dot dab of hot glue on there. And here's the magnet placement that I have on all each of the pieces that kind of attach themselves to the flight base. Um, I just found the flattest part and stuck a magnet on there with a little bit of hot glue. And here's the flight stands in action. There's a big battle waiting to be fought over Mechatol Rex. And as you can see, there's plenty of space for someone to get their hand in here and kind of move any of these pieces around. And if you need to move the flight stand, you just pick it up and move it to the next system. So, real easy to, to move around. You can see that the sustain markers are in there and they can sort of just attach to the bottom so you can see which ones have been damaged. It just all together looks like a big giant fleet of ships that are flying over the planets instead of those little hexagon glass pieces. I really like it. I hope you do too. And hopefully you can make your own. They're not too hard. And I'll catch you in the next video.